For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says a 20 Newton horizontal force is applied perpendicular to the handle of the socket wrench. Determine the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles of the moment created by this force about point O. So what you got to do is you got to find this vector, which is vector OA. And then to find the moment that F creates about O is equal to the cross product of, of OA cross the force. Let's call the force F. And has a magnitude of 20 newtons. And they'll tell you how it's applied. So let's find all the points involved. Point O sets at in the origin 0i plus 0j plus 0k. A sets at point 0.2, actually let me transform, this will be point 0.2 meters, this will be point zero seventy five meters, and that's it, yeah. I converted it to meters because newton meters is a common, uh, common unit for moment, so Again, where does A sit? It says a point two sine of fifteen degrees in the I plus point two cosine of fifteen degrees in the J plus point zero seven five in the K. So A comes out to be point zero five one eight in the I plus point one nine three in the J plus 0 0.075 in the K. Now that we have O and A, we know that vector OA is equal to vector A minus vector O, but also it's at the origin, so this is the same as vector A, which is 0 0.0518 in the I, plus 0 0.193 in the J, plus 0 0.075 in the K. Now that we have this vector, we need to find the Cartesian vector form of F. In order to do so, pretend you're looking at this socket uh, wrench from the top. Let me see. Top view. The top view would look something like this if you were looking at it from the top. This would be the socket wrench. Let me kind of draw it. So this little thing is this little thing right here. And the force is being ap applied parallel to the X and Y plane, perpendicular to the wrench. And this is a straight angle. If this is a straight angle, you can see that the force has two components. This component and this component and this angle right here is the same as this angle right here which is let me write theta here theta is equal to 15 degrees this force has a magnitude of 80 of 20 newtons so you know that this is the orientation of the y and this is the orientation of the x if you're looking at it from the top so, as you can see, the force has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The force sits uh, parallel to the X and Y, therefore the C component is zero. The X component, as you can see by this diagram, is given by 20 cosine of theta, which is 15 degrees, and it's negative because it's going to the right towards the negative x-axis which is negative 19.3 newtons and the y is given by 20 sine of 15 degrees which comes out to be 5.18 newtons so the Cartesian vector form of f is negative 19.3 in the i plus 5.18 in the j plus 0 in the k now you know that the moment that f creates about o is given by OA cross F. 
so we draw our matrix i j k in the first line o a on the second line which is 0 0.0518 0.193, 0 0.075, and the force in the in the last line, which is negative 19.3, 5.18, and zero. So what you do is you redraw your first and second column. 0 0.0518, negative 19.3. 5.18 you do your positive diagonals which come out to be i times 0 0.193 times 0 is 0 j times 0 0.075 times negative 19.3 is negative 1.47 in the j k times 0 0.0518 times 5.18 is plus 0.268 in the K and now you do your negative diagonals negative negative 19.3 times 0 0.193 times K is positive 3.72 in the K negative 5.18 times 0 0.075 times I is negative 0.389 I and 0 times 0 0.0518 times j is 0. When you add this up, you're going to get that the moment is equal to moment that f creates about o is equal to negative 0.389i minus 1.47 in the j plus 3.99 in the k. However, they're not really asking you for the Cartesian vector form of the moment, they're asking you for the coordinate direction angles of the moment and the magnitude. To find the magnitude, you do the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So when you plug in these three values into this formula, you get that the magnitude is equal to 4.27 newton meters. So that's it for the magnitude. The angles, the first angle is given by the cosine inverse of the x component over the magnitude, which is 95.2 degrees. The x component is negative 0.389 over 4.27. I'm writing out of space, let's go over here. This one is given by the cosine inverse of the y over the magnitude and it comes out to be 110.1 degrees and this last one is given by the cosine inverse of 3.99 over 4.27 and it comes out to be 20.9 degrees so final answer for the three angles a final answer for the magnitude Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.